day you left me, chances are I never will. And I've cried at least a month of Sundays. Lord, I wonder if my heart would ever heal. And you knew how much I needed you. But still, you turned away. Now you want to come back to me. Afraid you made a big mistake. You hope it's not too late. Well, look who's needing who. Well, it's not me crying over you. I know just what you're going through. Ain't it strange how it changes things? Now, look who's needing who. Put the blame on you But the fire of love ain't always welcome But you've been burned A time or two If I remember right it wasn't me Earth threw our love away And now you want to come back to me Afraid you made a big mistake You hope it's not too late well, look who's needing who. Well, it's not me crying over you. I know just what you're going through. Ain't it strange how it changes things? Now look who's needing who. Now look who's needing who. Scott play one for you on the banjo right now that's off of that new project that, uh, that we're just telling you about. This is a tune that Earl Scruggs did originally, and uh, he must have wrote this while he was riding in the back of a Silver Eagle bus because he decided to call it Silver Eagle. Imagine that. Thank you. 
Well, thank you. It sure is good to be back up here at Winter Hawk this year. Um, glad to see that the warm weather has followed us back up here again. And and they even have the lights on. It's daylight. Okay. Can we make it any hotter on the stage? <laughs> okay, here's a tune off of our uh, second project on the On the Divide album. A tune called New Tin Roof. No, you are. I was here before you. <laughs> Bought a little cabin in East Tennessee, a little hideaway hey, for the baby and me. I won't have to work too hard, she'll pretty at the front yard. All I've got to do is get rid of you tonight. Every night we're gonna snuggle down time, far away from the city lights, under my new tin roof. With her eyes so 
pit of the blue. Then one day, she packed her suitcase, told me she was going away. I followed her down to the station, said, my darling, won't you stay? also on our uh, latest release. Uh, the album is entitled Feel Good Day, and we'll try to get that song for you here in a minute. I'd like to introduce our Dobro player to you right now. He was with us last year. Uh, how many people here were here last year? Okay, well that's good. He had longer hair, but this is the same guy. <laughs> Two feet longer, probably. He's from the state of Iowa. We have anybody here from Iowa that will admit it? Come on now. Anyways, uh, Randy is from Iowa. One of the finest Dobro players I've ever had the privilege to hear. And if y'all would put your hands together, welcome Randy Coors to the stage. <laughs> I'm going to do a song for you right now that Josh Graves made popular. A tune called The Fireball. <laughs> Thank you. 
corners for you on the dub, bro. <laughs> Here's the title of our newest release we'd like to do for you. Uh, some good friends of mine, Linda Buell and Larry Johnson, wrote this song. And uh, even though it's a new song, it sounds like something that maybe Jimmy Martin would have done a long time ago. But I uh, hope that you enjoy it. Song called A Feel Good Day. It's been all rain and no shine. I've been under the weather for a long time with a heartache. Trying to make a heart burn. This morning there's clear skies. No tears in my eyes and I can't complain. After all the aches and pains. Sure things good. Have a feel good day. All the hurt has gone away, back to myself, and that's where I'm gonna stay. Hey, it's hurt, things good, have a feel good day. Like a mouse when the cat's away, feel fit as a fiddle and ready to play. Hey, and show sure things good to have a feel good day. It's a great festival. I love it here. We're going to bring our guitar player around to do you one now. That uh, He's got recorded on a solo project. He's been uh, playing this music for a long time. He started out with his dad, uh, the group called the Bluegrass Cardinals, back in uh, Los Angeles, California. They moved to Virginia and uh, He's been doing it ever since, and we're really happy to have him up here. He's one of the finest singers and guitar players you'll ever hear. Y'all would make welcome Mr. David Parmley. He's going to do one uh, called the Alabama Rain. It's a friend of mine, Tommy Barnes, wrote this number, and as Scott said, it is on Southern Heritage. How many people were at the Banjo Workshop? That was a good one, huh? Thought I was going to have to come out here and do a whole set of uh, Merle Haggard songs there for a little bit. <laughs> I don't get to play with uh, Bela Fleck just every day, you know, so it was kind of hard to, to leave. 
Not that, not anything against you guys. Yeah, I was time, fixing this. I was fixing this. But I can play y'all <laughs> <laughs> And Bill Keith, I might say, I might add. Oh, I bet that was. Uh, that was a uh, real historic experience for me. to introduce a banjo player to you right now in case you don't know who he is. He's originally from the state of Oklahoma, spent most of his childhood in uh, Arlington, Texas. One of the finest banjo players in the world, I think. Uh, he's got several solo projects and instrumental projects out over there at, his tab at the table there, and um, of course we have the three group projects out there. So uh, y'all put your hands together and welcome Scott Vestal to the stage. Here's an Earl Scruggs piece for you called uh, The Ground Speed. Thank you. 
Vestal with the ground speed for you. We have time for just a little bit more, but we'll be back tonight, I think, at 8.35. And, um... We're gonna do a song for you um, that'll feature our bass player. I think this is gonna be our last song, though. We got the somebody in the back here just give us the finger. So it was a. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we haven't introduced our bass player to him. They gotta do that. He's from the state of Kentucky. We're going to his home state to play in the morning. So um, he's from a small town called Bria, Kentucky. One of the finest bass players I know. Would y'all put your hands together and welcome Mike Anglin to the stage. I'd like to tell you too, we do have our table set up over here and uh, we'll be right over there after the show if you'd like to come by and uh, ask us anything or request something for tonight's show. And also, how many people have always been dying to take a cruise and haven't taken a cruise yet? Well, there's going to be a bluegrass cruise next February, and we're going to be part of it. Seven days out on the on the ocean on a nice boat with this crazy bunch of people right here and several other groups. But we have some flyers over there if you'd like to come by and pick one of those up and uh, plan a nice vacation in February. Anyway, here's a tune that Mike's going to sing for you, and we'll see you later on tonight. Here's a tune called You've Got to Swim. Suffer with another one? Yeah? Well, come on, let them know! Come on! Yeah!
Well, thank you. We appreciate it. We're going to have uh, everybody get in a traditional mode here and do an old flat scrubs number for you. And as I said, we'll see you later tonight about 8.35, I guess. A lot of great music coming your way, so everybody enjoy yourselves this weekend. Probably one of the very best festivals in the country, and you're all part of it, so y'all have a good time. It's probably one of my favorite Flat & Scrubs numbers right here. Tim called The Little Girl of Mine in Tennessee. <laughs> Scott Vessel. We'd like to feature the Dobro player on a real pretty song now he's going to sing for you. And hopefully the stars will come out. This is a tune that uh, several people have done in the past. I think uh, John Starling did it with the Selim scene. Merle Haggard recorded it. And 
Randy has it recorded also. He'll have it out on a solo project next spring. So uh, keep an eye out for that. His name is Randy Coors, if you'd like to make him welcome tonight. Real pretty song called Out Among the Stars. Fly like eagles out of 
and strong. There's Randy Coors for you on the vocals. It's going to feature everybody doing a little flute peek in here. A tune called the Foggy Mountain Special. one that uh, we did have recorded on our new album called Feel Good Day. David seems to have broken a wire. 
He told us he was going to change strings today. We just didn't know he was going to do it on stage. He changed them twice already. We sure have enjoyed being here today. Great crowd. This is a, a wonderful festival. Yeah, I think these sound guys are doing a great job too. They got this stuff back up and running. Awful quick. You ready? Here's one called If a Train Left for Memphis. So far north, there's a foot of snow. How I wish you could be here with me. Didn't want to, but I had to go. I got the feeling when I hung up that you missed me less and less. Long distance loving just ain't enough. So I guess the question is, if the train left for Memphis at four in the morning, Ninety miles an hour be fast enough. Two thousand miles and six states to cover. Would you still be waiting up? If a train left for Memphis, would it be too late for us? Bought you cards and sent you flowers And all the letters this time I found I put my name in the darkest hour Still the last thing on your lips to I've got to make up all the ground For too much distance break Packing my bags and leaving town God, I wish these rails were wings If the train left Four in the morning, ninety miles an hour be fast enough. Two thousand miles and six states to cover. Would you still be waiting up? If the train left for Memphis, would it be too late for love? Scott said, we really have enjoyed ourselves this year. We hope that we get to come back. This is one of our favorite festivals of all time. And uh, y'all are in for a lot of really good music this weekend. And that little rainstorm didn't do nothing but settle the dirt. So y'all have fun the rest of the weekend and uh, enjoy yourselves. Wish we could stay, but we got to be in uh, Moorhead, Kentucky tomorrow. So we're going to have to leave here. There is such a place, I promise. <laughs> I heard the comment out of there. <laughs> this is a tune off of our second project, and we'll say goodnight to you. Uh, here's a song called Bad News for the Blues. <laughs> I 
I see you standing there looking better than you should. You got everything it takes to get me feeling good. That was David Parmelee, Scott Vestal, and Continental Divide from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, thank you all very much. We appreciate that. I thought maybe that rain might have put y'all into slumberland out there. Oh wow, we sure appreciate that. Y'all make us feel so good. Thank you. We're gonna do a little uh, Earl Scruggs piece here. Got any Earl Scruggs fans out there? All right. Here's one that he wrote about his uh, son, Randy. Randy Lynn Ray.
everybody have a good weekend. Good night, everybody. Thank you.